Hello Crafty Family and welcome to another tutorial by She's So Crafty. For today's DIY project, we will be creating this rustic farmhouse style table tray along with three cute little topiary plants. And would you believe that everything was made from items purchased from the Dollar Tree? Please see the list of supplies and tools used to make these in the description box below. I am so excited to share this tutorial with you, but before we start, I wanted to say hello and welcome back to my awesome subscribers to my channel. If you're a new visitor to my channel today and love to create fun and easy DIY projects on a budget, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so you will be the first to know when a new DIY tutorial is ready to share with you. So now, let's jump right into that project. So to make the tray, we will be using one cookie pan from the Dollar Tree, one package of these St. Patrick's Day pots, and some of this nautical rope. First, we want to take our cookie pan and remove all of the labeling, and then we're going to flip the pan over. Then grab your pots, and we want to remove them from the packaging as well. Now we want to remove the handles from the four pots we will be using for this project and even though I pulled them here, I recommend cutting them instead. So now we're going to apply E6000 around the rim of each pot. And then we're going to apply some hot glue to each pot and apply one of the pots to each corner of the cookie pan. And here they are, all applied. Now for a little extra security, I'm going to add a few drops of this Dollar Tree Super Glue to each pot as well. So next, I'm going to take another pan or other flat sturdy item and I'm going to place it on top of the pots and then add a few weighted items while it dries. I suggest letting it dry overnight. And here it is, all dried and secured. So next, we're going to gently bend up both edges of that pan upward. I suggest using your hands and not tools since tools will leave unsightly indentions in that metal. And now we're ready to paint. So I placed my tray upside down on top of a bed riser that I used for painting. And I'm going to be using this flat white spray paint by Krylon. Now we want to apply two to three light coats of this paint, letting them dry at least 10 minutes in between your coats. And here is the bottom complete. Now we just repeat this for the top side. And here is the tray completely dry. Now, if you love white trays, you can definitely keep the finish like this, but I wanted to give my tray a worn and rustic look. So I'm gonna go start by protecting my work surface and gathering up my paint supplies. Now to give it my worn rustic look, I will be using three acrylic paints and I'll start with one with this gray color. I'll also be using this white acrylic paint and then I will also be using a brown color. Now first we want to apply that brown color. I'm going to mix it with some of the gray for a darker color and then I'm going to start applying it randomly to the tray. Now 
And then I'm going to take my dry chip brush. I'm going to mix some of that gray and white together. And I'm going to dry brush that onto the tray. Then I'm gonna take a fresh palette of some more of that white acrylic paint and I'm gonna dry brush that all over the tray, blending in all of that distressing we just did. As a final touch, I took some of that dark brown to make accents to resemble some underlying wood and some additional wear. And then I just blended that in with a white dry brushing. There it is, looks great. So now I wanted to add in some rope handles, so I cut two pieces about nine inches long. I also thought it would be great to add some of this wire to make it look like metal clamps. So I'll be using this wire from the hardware section of the Dollar Tree. And you can use floral wire as well. And all you wanna do is wrap it around the end of each rope several times and then you want to clamp it down in place with a pair of pliers. Then you just snip off that wire. Now you want to repeat this with the ends of both of your ropes. Now you want to place the rope about five inches apart on the end of each tray and you mark it with a sharpie and then I'm just I just took an object to scrape off some of that paint where I will be adhering that rope. You want to apply a generous amount of E6000 to the tray and then you want to follow up with hot glue. Then you just want to press the end of that rope into place and then you want to pl uh, put a clamp on there to secure it. You want to repeat this with both sides and then set it to the side to dry. So now we're going to start on the topiaries and we'll need a three pack of these plastic baseballs from the Dollar Tree and a pack of these mini plastic pots. We'll also need a pack of floral moss. Now we're gonna start by painting our pots. So we wanna gather up your paint supplies for this. Now we're going to be using three of the four pots in this package. Now to paint these, I will be using chalk paint. Now you want to apply one generous coat of that chalk paint to each of the pots. You want to set those to the side to dry. Now, once they're dry, we can go ahead and start distressing and I'll be using this charcoal and white chalk paint for this technique. Now you just want to take your dry chip brush and you want to blend the colors and then you want to start dry brushing the paints onto the pots. And here they are, all done. So next we're going to work on that greenery. So we want to open up that moss and we want to place it inside of a mixing bowl. Believe me, this will cut down on the mess tremendously. We want to take a baseball and we want to apply a section of hot glue at a time and then we're going to grab a handful of that moss and then press it into place. 
You want to hold it for a few seconds and then dust off any excess. Now you want to repeat this for the entire ball. Now once all the balls are done, grab your pots and you want to also grab a few sheets of newspaper. What you want to do is ball up a sheet and stuff it into each pot. Then you want to take your hot glue and you would want to um, make sure that the balls fit the way you like. And you want to apply a few rounds of that hot glue to the inside of the rim. Then you want to place that moss ball inside, holding it in place for a few seconds until it grabs hold. Now next we're going to grab some jute twine and we want to wrap it around each pot several times and then simply hot glue it into place. And once that's done, we're just going to take a single strand of that jute twine and we want to tie it around the pot into a bow. Then you just simply cut off those tails and we are done. And here is the final project. Oh my goodness, how cute does this tray and topiaries look in this setup? I just think that this turned out so amazing. I just love how these St. Patrick's pots look like furniture feet and they perfectly blend in with the finish of the tray. The rustic farmhouse look of this piece is so stylish and it will blend in perfectly with your other farmhouse accessories. And I think adding the rope handles with the metal gives it that extra touch that makes it look high end. This tray is so versatile and can be used just about anywhere in your home. I just love items that can be used for a multi-purpose, don't you? And how cute are these little topiaries? Oh my goodness, I think that these are just so adorable. And best of all, they are super, super easy to make. listen. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Make sure you're following She So Craft DEE -E on Facebook for the latest news, sneak peeks, and giveaways. Thank you so much for visiting and checking out my tutorial today. If you like the videos like these and don't want to miss the next one, make sure you're subscribed by clicking that subscribe button below and turning on that notification bell. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.